So uh, uh, <coughs> the human has presumably uh, millions of facts that they've encountered and stored away over a lifetime. And <coughs> having this amount of knowledge, they face the same problem that any other system faces, which has to maintain a lot of knowledge. You know such as computer systems uh, trying to maintain large databases of facts, uh, libraries who try to maintain uh, huge warehouses of books, which is that uh, you have to be selective uh, and you have to choose what information to make most available and what information to make less available. So, for instance, we see that libraries will put in their front shelves the books they think uh, that are most wanted uh, they will put in warehouses books that they think are very unlikely to be bored, and they will get rid of books which uh, they think are uh, no longer wanted. And similarly, in computer systems, we see information put in cache memories, core memories, uh, disks, uh, tapes, depending on uh, <coughs> the guess of the system operator as to how useful that particular knowledge is. What perhaps distinguishes the human memory system uh, from other systems is how sophisticated it is in making those particular decisions. 